nonsense. Don't you think you're being angry on your brother over nothing? I am not. He was so excited when I told him I was getting married. And that is how it should be. You don't expect him to be angry, do you? He's tired of my presence in the palace. And that's why he wants me out. He didn't even ask if the man was from Olasi or somewhere else. He was just so excited and overwhelmed. That is it. That is how it should be. That is what I expect every responsible and educated person to do. Okay? See, princess, I'm not going to sit down here and discuss the Amina of Olasi. I am the princess of this kingdom. And there's nothing you should be scared about. I know. I know, but please, can we discuss something else? Okay? What your brother did is what I expect my brother to do if I tell him I'm getting married. Okay? And you don't expect me to see through your eyes what is bad and what is holy good. Please. Okay? My sister went to my wife and complained that I don't love her. She came to that conclusion because I was excited when she told me that she had found somebody who loves her and wants to marry her. She said I don't want her in the palace anymore and that's why I want her out. Hajide. Your Majesty. You are my second in command in this palace. And I can assert you know everything. Is there anything I've done so far to violence that will make her believe I don't love her? You have done nothing wrong, Your Majesty. The accusation is in bad faith. I feel there are forces that are beginning to whisper rubbish into her ears. I'll get down to the root of the matter, Your Majesty. You have no permission to investigate my sister. You've given me the confirmation I seek, and I assure you, I will get to the root of this. I will handle it personally. So what do I do? I, did, I said I will handle the matter personally. Yes, Your Majesty. You may go now. my birthday. That's nice. Oh. Now, please, come with me. I have something to show you outside.
Okay. You can open your eyes. Behold, my royal gift for the princess of Olasi Kingdom on her 20th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear princess. Happy birthday to you. Thank God. God, thank you. Oh. <laughs> mm, you're most welcome, my dear. Now, you have a car you can call your own. to give my sister a car six months ago and trust me that's exactly what i just did the problem is timing oh. you did not tell her about the car the car came to her as a big surprise and guess what my love she may begin to think you gave her the car because of what she said oh my queen who cares i mean who cares look i love my sister and i'll continue to love her okay and believe me our insinuation that i don't love her is childish and it will fizzle away with time so please, my queen, please. I suggest you forget about my sister and do better things with your time. I think... Well, better still, come spend time with me. No, 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 no! Please. You are... Okay, can you now say that your brother doesn't love you again? Is it because of this car? This car means nothing to him. He inherited so much from my father. No matter how much you inherited, I still insist that he loves you so much to have given you this car. Many people who inherited many things more than him can never give anything tangible like him. Yeah, all right. Well, I have my plans. And when I execute my plan, I'll know if my brother values money over me. Princess, I still insist that you are entitled to your own opinion. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, you are accusing your brother over nothing. Okay? You want to drive? Yeah! You know, I was told you now play solo. You avoid everybody. Always on your own. You know, I, I came to this conclusion that you have become a kind of businessman. 
and I called you here because I now want us to do business together. Let me just say I like to keep it on the DL these days, you know. <laughs> I don't exactly advertise my business on the yellow pages, you know what I mean? Yeah. Solo helps, keeps you out of trouble. But um, I don't like to get involved in negative business, so to speak. I like to keep it crisp, clean. Is that where you go wrong? Business itself is negative in nature. And as long as one is in business, it can be said that one is negative. Well, anyways, what kind of business are we talking about? I'll tell you. There is this car that I told one of the that I have. The truth is that I don't have this car. Okay? And the Alahaji has already paid me advance for this car and is now waiting for me to deliver the car in two days, three days, four days. I don't want to have problem with this Alahaji. And this is why I sent for you. Well, if you want my take on this, let me see this. That way, I'm not a northern. Hmm? I don't speak out, sir. Though I have messed with a couple of chicks from the north, but... Um, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not an expert of that region, and uh, I don't know why you need my services, because I think I'm completely out of my forte here. I believe you want me to speak in black and white, do you? That's precisely the reason I'm wearing the colors. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, I'll say it. Big boy, I want you to steal the car. I beg your pardon. I am not a thief. You understand me? I don't look like a thief. I don't talk like a thief. I'm far, far intellectually ahead of most thieves. Most. I know you so well. Guy, you steal this car for me. I deliver this car to Alaji and we have so much money to share. Okay. I'm interested in this deal, just on the probability that I'm interested in the deal. Um, what kind of car we're looking at? Honda. Honda car, good Honda car. You know, Alhajis and Honda, you know, if they have a confidence sort of, I don't know. You steal the car, we share the money and we have good business. Well, there's one of the same thing. Okay. Say, I take the business. And see, I find you a nice clean Honda. How much are you seeing you? Something big enough to cash your fast. You steal the car, we share the money, we are happy. <laughs> Good business. Come on, my guy, I know you. Can you do this for me? Mm. All right. Uh, okay. Well, let's just say this. Um, like you said, business is business, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's my guy. And um, it's hard to keep up looking good with all those expensive blinks and the lifestyle without business. It's fine whiskey. You live well. Yeah, we I call this meeting because I believe I'm not more intelligent than all of you here. Chief Odetta was the last visitor I had yesterday and he told me something I find quite strange to comprehend. Chief Odetta, tell this council what you told me yesterday. Your Highness, this is unfair. What I discussed with you yesterday was private. Why do you want me to present the matter before the council? Well, you made it appear as if it concerns the kingdom. And now I'm telling you to address this council. Well, my fellow cabinet members, we all know 
that Amainabo of Olasi Kingdom is the direct representative of Olisa, the all-knowing God. That a woman who is menstruating does not cook for Amainabo of Olasi Kingdom. And because we may not always know when a woman or any woman is menstruating, we made it a law that a woman must not cook for our Amainabo. But the queen that we married from another land has been cooking for our Amainabo and he has been eating. This is what I told uh, uh, His uh, Majesty to stop before it brings down the kingdom. What you heard is exactly what Chief Odete told me yesterday. And now I ask this council, what is wrong in a man eating what his wife cooks? <clears throat> I am sorry to ask this, Your Majesty. Are you telling us that you have been eating what your wife cooks? Of course! I mean, she is my wife. And she's going to be the mother of my children, so why would I eat what she cooks? You are no longer an ordinary man. You are the Amainabo. And cannot do what we do. Obuzo is chief cook in this palace. Who have sworn to protect the king. Even at the point of death. Why are you eating from the queen, your majesty? Mm. You see, there are things we do in this kingdom that we cannot publish in any international magazine. And what we are seeing here is one of them. A woman remains a woman. And it's, it's only natural for young women to pass through menstrual period. There is nothing evil or unclean about it. And whatever restriction we place on them on that account is wrong and must be stopped. Did you know the plan? Forgive me, my love, but you shouldn't eat from my pot, and I'm sure it's tradition, and you should obey it. There's really no need for arguments. There's none. You know what the main problem is? No. You. Me? Yes, you. My cabinet members, they are not happy that I married from another land. So because of that, they are bringing up all these outdated customs just to get it. You can't be serious. I am serious. But my queen, I want you to understand that I know what I am doing. I do. <laughs> my mother cooked for my father and countless number of times and I even dined with them. So based on that, I can tell you that they are wrong if they say that a woman cannot cook for their minor. Have you confronted them with this fact? <laughs> well, I don't have to do that. They are elders quite all right, but at the same time, they are my subordinates. Hello. Your sister is in custody. And who? 
Who am I speaking with, please? What is it? We demand a ransom of 50 million naira. You have 12 hours to pay the money, or else you never see your sister again. Please, 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 please. Don't kill my sister, please. Kill? And where is she now? Are you ready to pay the money? Look, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you that Violet is the only sister I have. She's the only thing that reminds me of my mother, and I am ready to lay down my life for her. Tell me where you want this money, and you will get it, and assure me that my sister is okay. Your sister is perfect. Just pay us the money. And where do you want the money? As you're driving down at Panam Lake, you see an uncompleted building where men and women or Salvation Troopers assembly gather every Sunday. It's on the left side of the road, a few meters away from Mazi Villa. Drop the money in front of the church. Now listen, you better play solo. Because if you try anything funny, you'll never see your sister again. What is it? What is it? Oh my God, what happened? What happened? Violet has just been kidnapped. What? That's what the caller said. He said I have just 12 hours to pay a ransom of 50 million naira. 50 what? 50 million naira? In fact, in fact, for this meeting to make meaningful progress, we must learn to be sincere to ourselves. I'm sorry, Mr. Manze, but I don't understand what you mean by being sincere to ourselves. What you told our neighbor at the palace was wrong. Yes. My grandfather told me that our neighbor, the fourteenth, employed a female cook. Yes. He did this because the queen then was such a terrible bad cook, very terrible bad cook, that to prepare common bitterly soup, ordinary bitterly soup, becomes a problem. Yes. So, Amainabo, the 14th, ate all his life from the part of this woman he employed from Mabali. Okay. Amainabo, the 15th, we all know, employed the Obruzo. Obruzo only cook during festive period. During normal time, Amainabo ate from the pot of his wife. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Manse, what are you trying to tell us? That Amainabo, the 16th, is free to eat from the pot of a strange woman. Who are you calling a strange woman? Who? Remember, we married the queen as an ordinary woman. She came into this kingdom accepted to partake in all the rites of initiation into the court of our great feminine society. Yes. In fact, she is even prepared to die for this kingdom. She is prepared to die for this kingdom. Mr. Mans, don't you think that you are digging a grave that may consume our Amainabo by the kind of support you are giving to him? Oh, yes. What a man eats through his mouth cannot make him unclean. Uncleanliness comes from where what a man plans to say or do, even where he goes. We should leave Amainabo to concentrate on his duties. Let us eschew politics of bickering, antagonism, unnecessary sentiment, and move this kingdom forward. In fact, this meeting is closed. And let it close. I said it, he is sounding differently. I wonder he where, where he got different. this information is just given to us.
the line until I ask you to. Did you come with the money? Yes, I did. I came with $400,000. That's the dollar equivalent. Wow. Where's the money? It's right here with me. Um, drop the money at the church. Now. Listen, I drop the money and I get my sister. Do we have a deal? Now you listen, jerk. Do not give me instructions. I'll call the shots here. Drop the money and go. I'll call you by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning so that you can pick up your sister. Son, an Amina Bor is a direct representative of Ulisa. And once you are accepted and appointed as king, then you are forbidden from going out on Oye Market Day. We call it Oye Ulisa Market Day. On that day, you do not go out. You stay indoors, calmly and quietly, listening to the voices of the gods. Whatever happens, you do not step out on Oye Ulisa Market Day. Oye. In Olasi Kingdom, we call it Oye Olisa. The king of Olasi must not leave the palace on that day. Can't we conclude this deal today? I need to see my sister. She's the only thing I have. You cannot see your sister. Alright? You know what you do? You send somebody to come and pick her up in the morning. Don't worry. I'll allow you to send someone. Get lost. Do not get me angry. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. like you instructed and I'm going home to wait for your call. Don't be silly you fool. How dare you leave the money so exposed. Now put the money in the church building right now. Get lost. I'll call you in the morning. So you can pick up your sister. Do not call the police or else. Good day. So he does love me after all. Did you? Babe. 
decide they will release her tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why tomorrow? You can't go out tomorrow. You don't go out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'll send the chief security. I pray they call me as they promised. These are temptations that come with leadership. Please, my love, don't worry. You'll be fine. Your Majesty, please sit. Please. you because you know tomorrow is Oyolisa and I cannot leave the palace tomorrow so as soon as they call you will go and fetch my sister I am at your service your majesty but is it not better for us to involve the police no 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 police criminals could be dangerous when provoked and I don't want to lose my one and only sister. Understood, Your Majesty. Send someone to pick up your sister at that same church you dropped the money. She's stacked in the trunk of her car. Hurry up before she dies. Good luck. 
Start in the trunk of our car at the church after Marzi Villa on your way to Obanan Lake. Please go there now and recover my sister. Yes, now, sir. now, now. Thank you. I'll go with you, Hajide. Please, Your Highness, let me go with him.
Where's Violet? Your Majesty, we got there and saw some young man drive off with the car. We tried to pursue him, but we could wait, 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 wait. Just hold it there. Don't tell me my sister is dead. Turned the car around, we went after him, but we couldn't catch up with him. How did he? Yes, Your Majesty. Hello. Hello. Well, it's me, Violet. Someone has been at me. Huh? And in this high, a cop on with this high branch. Come back here. Hi. Go back here. Where's Wolf? Come back here. Hurry up and come for me. I don't know where I am right now. a dicey situation and I feel this is the time for you to know. I'm all ears, Your Majesty. When my father was about to die, he he told me never to trust my cabinet members. He told me that men who laugh with you are the same men who will kill you. Your enemies. He was specific. He mentioned your name, in Changeman. And he told me that you are the only person that I can trust and listen to. I'm flattered, Your Majesty. Thanks for reposing confidence in me. My sister has been kidnapped. By some people I don't even know. They asked for a ransom and I paid it and I've not seen my sister. Change of answer, right now I am so confused. I don't know what to do. Should I involve the police? Did you speak with the princess? Uh, yes, I, I, I spoke with her a few minutes ago and she doesn't even know where she is. She said she was in a place with a high fence and she kicked one of the kidnappers. Change of answer, I ask you again. Should I involve the police or should I continue to handle it as king? Your Highness, did they know she's a princess? Yes. 
the guy that called me knows that I'm the king. Well, um, if you ask me my opinion, I will suggest you don't involve police at this moment. There are tendencies that they may murder her. In the wrong car. This is the exact car that I told the lodge that I have. As it is now, we are going to convert that man to the paymaster. He's going to continue paying for this car until he has nothing to pay. Nothing to pay. See, that's the problem with you. Every time I'm trying to be logical, start shooting your mouth off. Meaning what? I drove into this compound with this car. Uh -huh. And I found a girl in the trunk. What? You heard me. Again? To make it worse is one crazy ass girl I'm telling you. I don't need the choice part of my anatomy. If not that I was strong enough to follow one of power and take and I'm telling you, we're doing surgery down there by now. Before then she was making calls to some crazy people I don't know about. Inside this house? She's in there now. In there. See? Can I see? That was a well fabric to try to tell you. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to tell you. Who is this? Be steady. Mm. Dead. Ouch! Thanks anyway. Don't thank anybody yet, okay? Don't even think of taking anybody. How did you get your very miserable body into the trunk of that car? How? My brother gave me the call on my birthday. Just let me go, okay? I'll give it to you if you want it and I promise I won't tell anybody about it. What makes you think we can let you go without you telling us how you got yourself into that trunk? Listen to me, jerk! Yeah? This is a dignity where everything can be traced at ease. Let me go! Because my brother will definitely find me and if he does, you're in big shit. Now what get me out of this place right now before hell breaks loose. Hmm? If you want the stupid car, I'll give it to you. Just let me go! <laughs> let me go! Jerk! Ah, push! Get a tic tac! The most things. Oh my god. That way you said you have dragon breath. But oh my god. I'm telling you, man. I will not take it if I'm You are a dead idiot. Nah, nah. Yeah. Let's seal this hole back. What's with the major problem in this hole? Come on, hold that. Let's seal this. Let's seal this. Stick lips. Show come on. I'll bite you. Ow! I want, I want to have the car keys. So, what, what do you want to do with the car keys? To deliver the car to the owner, to the buyer, to the alahaji. So what about the girl now? You kill her. Huh? Kill her! Listen, my, my instincts tell me this girl's got some connections. From, from the kind of calls she was making, how she's acting like some sport brat. Why don't we know the next deal before we just, you know, kill that girl? Like Listen, that. emotions are unknown in this business. I don't know this girl. We don't know her, and I don't want to know her. Kill that girl before I come back. Just kill, 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 kill that girl like that. Listen, if, even adult chickens deserve a little consideration. Come to talk about adults like that. She just snuffed the girl out like that. Man, let's think about it now. 
I wouldn't, huh? I wouldn't want to repeat myself again. Kill that girl. Okay, if I come back, I should just kill her like that. Huh? She killed the girl. Do you know whether some evil people use the car for some evil thing and stuff that that poor child in there? Because you know, I grit as you kill the girl. Kill the girl. Okay? Kill the girl. Because you see, now found. Just like that. I grit. If you meet your father, then kill him. Okay. <laughs> But run to the gate now. Can I help you? Good day, young man. Yeah, good day. Did you by any chance see a gold-colored Honda end of discussion drive along this road? Do I resemble an idiot that works in a car tracking company? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only making an inquiry. Stand here like an idiot, asking nonsense questions. Idiot. Come get away, my friend. I just ran into somebody who looks like a royal messenger asking after that car. Listen to me. Find how to cover that car and kill that girl. Do it now. Yes, sir. Now. Don't look at me like that. I don't like him any more than you do. Have something to say? Ouch! Why do you keep doing that? That's the only way I'll get it out fast. Besides, it's enjoyable. So, what do you want to say? Well, before you say anything, let me tell you, this was not my idea. You understand? You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, I'm going to untie you if you promise to behave. I promise. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my, my ears not so good in the afternoon. Especially the bright one. I promise. I thought that was what you said. Okay, I'm. Um, you know what? Right back, let me stop on my back, please. This hurts me. What? Where are you going? You just said you're on time. Now, let's do this now. <laughs> you know what? I think I just made a mistake. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know that's how still as your friend. A big cow is my friend. He just happened to engage me for a job and I regret listening to him now. He engages you to steal my car? Not particularly your car, just any of the new Honda series would be fine, but I saw yours by the roadside, so 
I went for it. So, how much did he pay you? Why are you asking all these questions? This is why I don't want to release you. Sorry. Anyways, um, you didn't tell anybody how you ended up in that trunk. So with that. I'll give you money if you prove to be a friend. Who are you? I am a princess. And I got myself into this big mess because I just wanted to know if my brother truly loved me. So, who is your brother? His Royal Majesty and my noble the 16th of the last he came down. So you're the princess in Ulasi Kingdom? I am a princess the world over. And if you let me go, I promise I'll be your friend forever. anything? Nothing yet, Your Majesty, but we're still at it. Hajide, I will not accept that. Go back to the streets and continue to nose around. Am I clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Njemanze told me not to involve the police and I am trusting that you will get my sister for me. She's welcome. Hello, Princess, where are you? I really don't know where I am right now, but I'm okay. Are you still being held by those people, or are you free now? I'm free. Oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Now listen to me, Princess. Look for a hotel and check in there, okay? Call me as soon as you're there, and I'll send my chief security to pick you up. Oh, come on, brother. That won't be necessary. I just called to let you know that I'm okay, all right? Take care, and I'll call you later on. Bye. <laughs> what is it, Your Majesty? It's, uh... It's, it's Violet. She... She called to say that she's okay, but... I don't know. I, I, I don't believe her. Okay, but what number did she call you with? She called with her number. Okay, so what are we going to do now? I think we should go to the um, abandoned building, wherever it is, and then get the cash. You sort me out and I'll take you and the rest of the money to your people. Okay. Hello, Your Royal Majesty. Good afternoon, my princess. How are you? I was feeling horrible at first, but I'm, I'm okay now. I'm glad, my dear. Tell me, where are you? I want to come and see you right now. Don't you trust me when I say I'm okay? I'm fine, okay? I do trust you, my dear, but Your Majesty does not trust that you're okay. So I need to see you now to know that you're truly okay. Come on. Why would I say I'm okay if I'm not? Please, I'll call you as soon as I'm coming home, all right? Just take care and wait for me. I'll be back soon. Love you. Well, I... Your Majesty, I think I believe her. She might be okay. We'll go? Yeah. Let's get my shit.
How are we going? We're in the car. The car? Mm -hmm. Come on, it's not safe to drive this car. We have to look for another way of going there. Yeah, you're right. This car is hot now. Okay, you know what? Let's get it out of his compound first. I don't want Kakaki to lay his filthy fingers on it. See, this place is a palace. And everything we do here follows laid down protocol. See, as you can see, we are youth coppers serving in this kingdom. We just want to see the king, that's all. And I ask you again, if the king is aware of this visit. Because you can't just come in here, say you want to see my king. Look, my king is not a poor king that you can just walk out, walk from nowhere, say you want to see. What is going on here? They came in here, they said they want to see the king. And I'm trying to explain to them that you can't just come in here and say you want to see my king. That you have to follow a due process. Let them be. I'll handle it. Now, come with me, ladies. Go get her while I get her. Crazy. 
do you hear that? What? I just saw somebody coming from here now. Yes. She's okay when she's not. Please. What is it? The youth coppers are still waiting before the throne. I want to know what to tell them. Let me handle that. Are you the queen? Yes, I am. You are in my... Come here! What are you doing here? It's so good to see you. 
In my community, yeah. I hope you like it here. Yes. yes. I presume you like what you see? Yeah. yeah. So far. So. You're here to see my husband, the king. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But before that, I must invite you to a royal banquet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Why don't you come with me? Yeah. Baby, I want to hear this. <laughs> Thank you. Listen to me, I am in your house. And everywhere is under lock and key. I don't understand what is going on. What do you mean by Yawa don't gas? What does that mean? I think this girl has been kidnapped for real. What is my business with that? Alahaji is waiting for me. Where is the car? Because I can't see the car. Why are you so damn insensitive? You're talking about the car. I'm telling you a girl has been kidnapped for real. An innocent girl. What's up with you now? God, God, big people, please. I don't have any business with girls. I have no concern with girls. I am here talking about the car. How do I get the car? Well, I don't think you get it. Let me, let me break it down. See, this is a real life princess. Okay? She set herself up to be kidnapped so that her brother can pay $400,000 ransom money. And he should share whoever it is she planned it with. But unfortunately, we kidnappers caught hold of her. They are holding her ransom right now as we speak. I don't know where. And then they're asking for one million dollars. They paid four hundred thousand dollars. This is serious. Guy, where you there? Uh, Apathy Junction. You know what? Let me watch down to the junction. I'll be sure. I don't know why it's raining there, but it's raining here in your crib area. But I'll see you now. I'll see you now. Four hundred thousand dollars. $400,000. Just release me and I promise I won't tell anybody about this, please. Then give us the number of a paymaster. And he's just like, pay us $1 million or else you remain here in custody, okay? What? I cannot cause my brother further troubles, okay? I'd rather remain here and die. Are you talking tough to us? Are you talking tough to us? Stupid girl. Listen. Just, just don't give, give, give us a number. <laughs> what more can you guys do to me than kill me here? Well, I'm ready to tell you here and now that I'm ready to die! Let me tell you, 
If you don't get that money, you're, you're, you're in soup, okay? You're, you're as good as them! Come on, shut up! You can see, see your mouth, huh? You're huge. Rubbish. Let me not leave my hand down, okay? Is it one? Yes, it's the one. It's the one that pointed the gun at me and kidnapped the girl for real. I, I chased them, but I lost them. They were going too fast. Yeah, but why in this world would this girl come to this house in the first place? This man here, Safix, is an evil man. One thing I know is that he's going to rape that girl thoroughly and will kill her eventually. I don't want anything to happen to that girl. <coughs> you are sounding as if I become emotionally attached to this girl and I... That, that's going to be very strange. It's not that. I'm just... I just feel responsible. For what? To start with, I got into this whole mess. She was only trying to prove her brother loves her. But look at all this. I got into this present mess as well. I just... I just feel responsible. Just... Call this... Suffix or whatever his name is. Oh, just tell him to stand down. Let's try and save this girl. I, I, I wouldn't leave with myself if anything happens to this girl. You're planning to engage my services for free? You don't want to pay me or something? But just engage me. For what could that now? I'll be your guy now. I've done you many favors in the past. Besides, you're the only one with experience in this field. And plus, you know the person in question. So, what we want to pay you to? Why would she come here in the first place? Why? Why don't they ask me? I don't know. Let's just my dear, you know, every time I see you, I remember your mother. She gave birth to you. And unfortunately, we lost her. I miss her. I'm sure you miss her too. I want you to know that I am okay with you and your brother. I want you to always, always trust and love him. Family will be in shambles if you listen to outsiders. This is my advice. Always bear it in mind. Love you. I promise my father. But I fucked up. And I didn't believe my brother. And I'm in this mess. Spare me that cock and bullshit. So why, why did you kidnap yourself? Because my brother was ready to give my hand out in marriage. And I wanted to make sure that he, he really loved me. And uh, who is your brother? Who is your brother? His Royal Majesty Amenable the Sixteenth of Alasi Kingdom. Are you truly the Princess of Alasi Kingdom? My brother is the king, and I'm his only sister. Suffix, Macaulay won't see you.
Suffix. Yeah. Suffix. The kingdom of Lassi is a sacred kingdom. Blessings and curses flow from there. Let's set the scale free. What? Wait, 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 wait. Set, are you out of your mind? A girl that can give us money. I know what's wrong with you. Suffix. As we have just confirmed that the $400,000 that we found was paid in by the King of Olasi. Right? Mm -hmm. I do not want to have anything to do with it. I'm not interested. Are you more stupid? I mean, you, you, you must be out of your mind, okay? Yeah, I, I hate to answer your calls. And what, what is it? Listen to me, it's a fix or whatever. I have never killed any man who doesn't deserve death. Release the girl that is under your custody and release the money you hijacked or you are dead. Are you giving me orders? So I fix, you shut your mouth there. Who do you think you are? You don't know the origin of the money you hijacked and you can never say you know where it's going to land you. Idiot. Imagine Kaki trying to give me orders. Threatening me on the phone. Oh God. Who is Kakaki to threaten me? Suffix. Kakaki is an African mafia. An African mafia is a deadly, dangerous mafia. Who doesn't deal on guns alone. An African mafia deals with guns and charms. And that's exactly the edge Kakaki has over you. My brother, you must be an imbecile to think that I moved with that crap you just said, okay? Now listen, I don't bloody do charms and chants cannot get me. All I want is money. I mean, I need money. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. You want more money, right? That's what I'm not doing, man. Okay, calm your nerves. Walk into the mini living room while I go talk to her. That's what I'm not doing, okay? I'm doing it. Okay? Yeah. Don't be sure you know what you're doing, okay? Trust me. I'll let you down, huh? Yeah. You bounce, huh? Let me talk to her. Go! Oh. Why are you talking tough? You're supposed to be diplomatic. I am talking tough because I am tough. Don't you get it? That girl is in his custody. If you continue like this, you'll get angry and kill her. Is that why you're afraid? Listen to me. Safis cannot kill that girl. If he dares it, listen, I know where his wife lives. With all his children. If he kills that girl, then I will kill all members of his family. He knows that much. Okay? Where can I find this suffix? <gasps> the way you are taking this matter, I am getting interested. Maybe because of the money or something. You are, you are getting seriously involved in this matter? That's all that motivates you, man. Yes, because of the money. <laughs> because of the money. Money! You appear as a gentle person. And it looks like you're forced into being against her. Assist me. And I'll be your friend. Don't you ever give him your brother's number. Because he doesn't know the kind of secret power the King of Lassi controls. Don't you? Don't you?
want to see his majesty. That is not the answer to the question. Now, where is the princess and how did you get the car? As in due course, I will explain all that. They are related. But you have to let me see the king. It's important. You call your brother and tell him that you've been kidnapped by men who are very dangerous. Why are you so greedy? 400,000 US dollars is amount of money that could be used worldwide. Why don't you just release me? I promise I won't tell anybody. <laughs> I have this feeling that you don't know me. <laughs> Baby, that is very unfortunate. I am evil. I mean evil. If you fail to call your brother, I'll kill you myself. Then go ahead and kill me, because I'll not call my brother. Yeah, let me make it simple for you. Just give me the number and I'll call myself. His Majesty Amanabu the 16th of Alasi Kingdom is a public figure. Anybody can get his number. But I will not give you his number. Now back off! <laughs> really? Now shut up. I don't have a conscience. Do what you ask to do and you need to see tomorrow. Now shut up. Shut up your trap. I won't give you the number. Are you listening to yourself? I already paid four hundred thousand dollars as ransom, and I will not. I repeat, I will not pay anything further. Majesty is the dire situation at hand. Beg you to reconsider. See, the first one was a fluke. We all knew that. But this is serious now. This is a real criminal. Dangerous man. And they will not hesitate to cause body harm if um, we don't pay the one million dollars. You know. I never trusted you, and I still don't trust you. I'm afraid your opinion of me does not count now, Your Majesty. It's a bigger picture. It's your only sister's life that's at stake. I will not pay a million dollars to anybody. You are her only hope. And she's sorry. You turn your back on her now. They will kill her for sure. I am the king of Olasi Kingdom. How dare you stand in my way? Sorry, Your Majesty, I wasn't thinking. I I'll speak to him. Young man. You can't go with the car. Let me have the car key. If you don't understand, it's imperative I go with this car. Is it who I can get to the princess fast and save her life? If you insist here, yeah, no problem. I'll find another way. Hold on. We value her more than the car. You can have the key. Go along with it. Thank you. Um, in case His Majesty changes his mind, please ask him to call me immediately. Okay. Her life depends on it. It's the second number there.
Now get your phone. He said, get your phone and call your brother, not the other one. Yeah, this one. Just call him. Call him and tell them to bring the money. You should bring the money right now. Your Highness, you have every right to walk Bikibo out. He's not an honorable man. For the very first time, Your Majesty, I think he's been honest here. The truth is, I don't have a million dollars to give anybody. Violet has let me down. And right now, I want posterity to judge us. Hello. It's... It's... It's me, Violet. What do they want? They are demanding for a million dollars. Give me the phone. Just, just oh, give me the phone. Oh. No, 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 listen. It's either you get the money or I'll kill her. I don't have a conscience, okay? I don't have a conscience. It's either you get the money right now or she's dead. Please, my brother, please listen to me. Violet is the only thing I have and I can pay any amount to keep her alive. Please. Don't torture her again. You will get this money tomorrow. <laughs> you, 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 you're not serious, Alan. You're not serious. It's either the money comes today or I'll kill her. Oh, my brother, I am the king of Olasi kingdom. And today is Oyolisa, and the king of Olasi must never leave the palace today. I will get you this money tomorrow, please. I don't need to see your face, okay? I don't need to see your face. Send me an agent. After all, it's never too late for millionaires to withdraw money from the bank. I mean, three hours or I'll kill her. Three hours or I'll kill her. I told you, I have no conscience. I have no conscience. It's either you get the money or you're dead, I'll kill you. Come on, take your phone. If they fail to get that money, you're dead. Just three hours and you're gone. Then you don't get that money here. Oh, good lord. Just break it down, just break it down. Then you don't get that money, or you're, you're dead. What did they say? Look, how fast can we get a million dollars? How fast? I don't know, my love. I don't know. I need to check to see what we have. Alright, do that right now. On your way out, get one of the guards. Tell him to get me in Chie and Jemanze at once. Sorry. Now. Of course, Your Majesty. Now. My colleague, tell us what you know. I know Safix very well. If he doesn't get my money, he will kill that girl. Is he aware you left with this briefcase? No, 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 no. He's not aware. He's very, very busy in his bunk, torturing the girl. Okay. Hello. This is Amai Nabo the 16th. Thank you for leaving your car. I've arranged for some money for the criminals. Please, I don't want my sister to die. I uh, appreciate you calling your majesty, but um, the thing is that we've decided to deal with this matter on our own. I'll show you everything will be fine. And how? Look, the criminals gave me three hours or they will kill my sister. Well, my friends and I have decided that at this stage of our plans, we don't need the money. Keep the money. We'll work this thing out. We we'll understand the blessings that come from the last year um, kingdom and um, we just want to do the right thing. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Listen to me. I don't want you and your friends to go playing hero while my sister's life is at stake. 
I have money. Okay? Your Majesty, don't worry. I'm on top of this. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I have news. Thank you for calling. Bye. What did they say? Your Majesty, for once, tell me what he said. The ransom money is complete. Listen, is that not enough reason to save this girl? In that case, let's hit the motherfucker. still advising me not to involve the police. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Leave the police out of this, at least for now. Until we see the princess. Her statement will form basis for police assistance, please. somebody to get you your money okay and listen to me whatever you do don't kill my sister please remember it's one million dollars or else you won't see your sister alive Hello. Hello. I have the money. Where? Where I meet you? Do you have one million dollars there with you right now? Where can I bring the money? I have to see the girl first before I give you the money. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Listen, I'm with a girl inside on complete that building down Osman Road, okay? <laughs> you show me the money and I give you the girl. Please don't harm her, okay? I'm already on my way with your money. I'll see you soon. Bye. through the front, you move through the back. Bye. Now they better get the money, okay? They better get the money or you're in soup. Princess my food. I have your money right here. Yeah, I'm outside. Can I see the girl? So, how much do 
you have is a letter sack you can. Now four hundred thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand what? That's not the bargain, okay? Listen, listen, hang on a minute. Now. You can't we can't raise one million dollars in three hours. Nobody's big gate here. Okay, please, just take the money, let's see the girl, make sure she's fine, and, and I'll give you the rest. Again, okay, serious, okay? Come serious. Hey, hang on. I'm going to kill her. No, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, hang on, hang on, don't no, do that. I'm going to kill her. No, 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 don't do that. Does it mean I've lost this girl? Come here, Austin. Yeah, that's the stuff. Thank you. I told you he was a good guy. That's the stuff, you know? Mm. Let's go with it. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. man. Hey, man. Hey, man. So, baby, listen, I'm so happy you're, you're fine. Um, for once, I'm coming straight to my life here. The whole money is in there, $400,000. We have to switch suitcases so that you don't suspect you took the money. Mm. Okay. Um, we need to get you to your brother. I'm sure he's waiting for you. What? Have it. What? Four hundred thousand dollars, me? <laughs> Four hundred thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, thanks a lot. Because I knew, I knew it was some kind of well, it was bad. Our friend was. <laughs> so lucky. You know what? I'm going to personally escort you to the palace mm -hmm. and you're with your brother. And then and you need uh, to see the doctor. Oh yes, yeah, you need to see the doctor. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I have misbehaved. I have disobeyed our father and... Why not? You have let me down. And you have let royalty down. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Your Majesty, I'm pleading on her behalf. She confided in me. She went through hell with the people who kidnapped her. She was rescued by the criminal you pardoned. The one that came earlier in the day. Please forgive her. Oh, the great Lassie Kingdom 